Someone using the deadlift bar to God knows what. <laughs> One of those days. Seems like I'm having more of those days than not at the minute. This series is called Change. Well, I'm going through a hell of a lot of it on a daily basis. Off camera, stuff that you guys don't see. Um, And let me tell you, I like to think of myself as quite a tough person. Strong willed, knows what he wants in life. All that shit, you know. But. Are they the same height? Oh, anyway. No, they're not the same height. I fucking knew they weren't. There we go. But realistically, I'm struggling, man. This is a tune, you know. I'm struggling, to say the truth. And what do I do when I'm struggling? Shoulder press. You know, I've always been, generally speaking, pretty good at, at, at putting a face on. Like, I've been doing this social media thing for a long time. And I haven't missed on my two videos a week for seven years now. You think in that seven years, shit's not hit the fan. Relationships, family, home, business. You know, that whole time, I've managed to put a mask on one way or another. I've always been pretty good at that. But this is just finished me. It's just fucking written me off. And I don't know what I can do to kind of help the situation. Um, I don't, I, I don't even know what to say. <sighs> Fuck it, let's just press. <clears throat> oh yeah, this feels like home. Just pressing your girl for a warm up. <laughs> yeah, for some reason, I don't really know why. There'll be some people watching this video with a massive smug grin on their face, thinking, ha, I love that he is struggling right now. I ask those people to take a little look at themselves in the mirror. Are they really happy? Are they really content with, with their lives and with their progress? And, with what they see. Because I don't know about you, but I certainly wouldn't go around missing, wishing misfortune on people in that way, you know? But there's so many people watching this video that will be thinking, <laughs> yes! Just because I'm, I'm not feeling too great, you know? I don't, I don't get that. I think that says a lot more about you as a person than it does me. Everybody goes through struggles, it's just, Right now it's my turn to, you know? And that will pass, I'm sure. But whether you look upon that with, with fondness or with concern, says a lot more about you than it does about me. Because the reality is, you will struggle too. You might just be better at putting that mask on. I've put that mask on for many, many years. 
but I just can't with this. Should have got five in the last one, so we're going to shoot for five, but we've had a very, very long rest, so I don't know. God, I feel so much better already, you know. And it feels shit. Honestly, if I shoulder press, like a switch. It's weird. Come on. Four and a push press. Four and a push press will do. Oh God. The only way I can really explain it is by saying like, it one lets out emotions because in the same way that going for a run is a massive kind of physical exertion overhead pressing your your body weight for multiple reps is a very tough thing to do it's a very big kind of physical exertion in the same way that running is in the same way that that boxing is in the same way that well anything strenuous on the body is so the only real way that I can describe the feeling is good it's the equivalent for me like I feel so much better after just doing a few sets of shoulder press it really is that simple for me and that's weird to say I'm aware it's a bit odd but make do with that what you will laugh if you want all I would do is try and encourage you guys to try and find the same thing it's just unfortunately you can go for a run pretty much anywhere but you can't necessarily overhead press an 80 kg barbell everywhere you go. So perhaps try and find something a little bit more accessible, you know? But try and find something. That's my message. Yeah, easy. 10, two. That and Fred again. I've got Fred again on. Marvelous. Bicep feels fine. Tis a good day. Forearms are pumped to fuck as well. 
Jesus. I think it was the lap pull down that I did upstairs. I did like six sets and then a drop set to finish. Different set, different Fred again song per set. Feels good today, this. Mm. Best this has felt since the bicep. Mm. Yep, take that. Alright, one more. <clears throat> Make the most of it actually feeling good, you know. Well, I'll do. Time to go home. See, I'm at like a really weird point with like training and just my physique in general and stuff where I've had this bicep tear. I've had like just personal problems, professional problems where I've been so busy that gym really just hasn't been a priority. I'm at a weird point with my, my physique and training where I've trained somewhat consistently for two, three weeks-ish now. Now, although that's not a massive amount of time, for me, if I'm able to kind of do that for a couple of weeks consistently, I look like a completely different person, right? I, I don't know if it's a natty thing or if it's just a me specific to myself, my, my lifestyle, my diet, all that kind of stuff. If I am on it for a couple of weeks, I look like a completely different person. I have a completely different physique. If I'm off for a couple of weeks, I again look like a completely different person and have a completely different physique. So I'm at this kind of weird middle point where like I'm somewhat happy with that, with what I just saw, with what I just did. But I know it could be so much better. But on the flip side, I also need to recognize that it was so much worse. Not that long ago, a couple of weeks ago tops, you know, I felt like ass and I looked like it too. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm not exactly gonna be whipping this off and showing you the fucking rig or anything, but I'll take it, I'll take it, take the small wins. Ugh. The next frustrating thing in reality is if I was at home right now, is in, in the home gym, um, if I felt like this, if I felt this energy level and, and, and this good while I was training, not only would I continue to train for a little while longer, I would also wind up posing after my session, perfecting all of that kind of stuff, which is also like a, an isometric contraction, which is not like more training, but it like you need to practice posing for a reason, right? It's difficult. And so I'll be able to hold the poses, I'll be able to present my physique in a much better way if I was to live at home um, or when I used to live at home. Because I don't do that here, because realistically, this place is full of monsters. I look like an idiot. I look like a small, natty idiot if I'm just here. If I was to just whip off my top, start posing and all that kind of stuff, you know? I even felt stupid doing that, and there's not even anyone that I really know that well in the room and I still felt dumb, do you know what I mean? Realistically, if I was at home, I would have done a hell of a lot more. I would have carried on because I feel like I still have the energy levels and I wouldn't have to call it a day um, as I do right now. Um, but I've got stuff to do and that just kind of goes with the territory with, with getting older, with becoming 
becoming self-employed, we're becoming more professional with, with, with just having adult responsibilities. I have things to do. I would love to continue just training arms because it actually feels good right now. But I can't do that. I need to recognise that I'm in a better position than I was two weeks ago. I look a hell of a lot better than I did two weeks ago. But it could also be a hell of a lot better at the same time, you know? Realistically, if I was at home, I would continue training. I would also pose afterwards. Felt like a bit of an idiot. There's not really anyone here that I even know that well or would judge me or would care or... It's not even busy, you know? But realistically speaking, I didn't do it because I have built up this kind of idea in my head that for some reason when I'm here, I just can't do that. And that's just not true. People here support me. People here have got my back, you know? And people here want to see me do it for the most part, want to see me do well, you know? So... I think off the back of sessions like today, I just need to start doing things like that again, because that is me, that is what I want to do. That is a massive part of me, my, my personality, and how I got to the position that I'm in today. If I was at home, I would have done those things. I need to start acting like that person again. That person was very fucking happy. I'm not saying I'm unhappy, but you know, I came into this session needing to shoulder press, I shoulder pressed, it helped. That's what I would have done when I was at home. I need to do that here too. Mental note to self.